So as you can see here, I changed my mind since my last video. I decided since I was working late on a Monday, I would just long arm while I was here since my quilt top was done. So I didn't add any borders. I just grabbed a quick silver Kona for my backing, just made it super quick and easy, grabbed a chunk of batting, and we're getting ready to quilt. So I'm gonna get everything all loaded in and get this sucker done. So I added in an inch and a quarter to my measurement. This is why you add those extra measurements because look how barely beyond it went. So when it quilted out, it stretched out and I'm glad I added an extra quarter of an inch. So that would have been right up on there. It got a little close over here, but I think that'll catch my binding. So now I've just got to unpin and be on my way. As you saw, we're all trimmed up now, and I think I'm gonna see if I can make some scrappy blue and green binding since I've got gray on the back now and see what I can come up with to put on tonight. Today was successfully productive. I just got back from Whip It Wednesday, so it's clearly after nine o'clock on a Wednesday. And as you saw, my binding's all done. So I did a scrappy binding, which I love. It turned out super great. Yeah. So I think it really helps bring in more of the blues with some green still splashed in there. I've still got to like lint roll this. So I am quite pleased with how this all turned out. I would absolutely do this block again in a bigger quilt. I think it would look really cool, like I said before, doing an intentional 10 square set instead of just a grunge one, like even if it was intentionally a grunge 10 square with a white or something printed with a white, with a white grunge. But I really like how this block went together. And maybe next time I will get my middle measurements correct. But even for being 
slightly off in the middle, like at least they're all consistently off. So then they're all done. So now that you've seen this final result, let's take a look at some pictures of it.